everybody. So, new series again. Uh, it was a thought of ours a while ago that um, Theodore reads a lot, like all the time. He's always reading. He's always got a Kindle in his pocket. He's not just excited to see you. And one of my New Year's resolutions this year was to read a bunch more because I used to read all the time. And so we thought of an idea of talking about the books we've read and maybe sharing with you kind of like a nerdy book report kind of thing. So this is uh, Tales from the Bookshelf. And uh, normally this is going to be a little Ted's thing, but I'm recording this one because of what's going on in the world right now. It's you know, it's May, so if you watch this in the future, you know what's going on. Um, so today, I'm going to talk about a book series, basically, called Critical Failures by Robert Bevan. And it is, it's a fun read. It is a fantasy and humor and not for little kids. It's like drops a bit. It is, uh, it is like a lot of adult humor in it. So um, it is, there's seven books in a series. And I have read five of them. I have uh, books six and seven in the mail right now. Uh, the basic plot is more or less a group of friends are hanging out at a chicken hut that one of them owns and operates. Because, you know, it's basically it's KFC, but legally you can't call it KFC. You know, copyright. And they are going to play Caverns and Creatures, which is just a fantasy role-playing game very similar to D&D. Again, you know, it's got to be copyright issues and all that jazz. Uh, and they went online, as most people do this time of <laughs> this time of the world, and they found a cavern master online to run the game for them. And his name is Mordred. And he is the stereotypical definition of um, basement-dwelling nerd. He is wearing a velvet purple cape with matching fedora. He's fat. He smells. He's got acne scars. He's just like this. He makes the he's the stereotypical thing that most people think a game master is that makes us all look bad. And our group of quote unquote heroes um, are really anything but that. They are huge douchebags. They are kind of incredibly off off the bat. They're instantly mean. They uh, ridicule him, make fun of him nonstop. And uh, Mordred ends up using a set of magical black dice that he has and sends them to his homebrew dimension of Caverns and Creatures, where he basically is everything. And when he sends them into this dimension, they become the characters that they were playing at the table. So there is a orc barbarian, a halfling thief, a half-elf, uh, or an elf sorcerer, and... Um, that's the yeah there's a but they're just all their actual the races and class choices that they have and, and also the the interesting thing being is that whatever their stats were at that time that's that's what they are so the barbarian is such a low intelligence that he doesn't know how to read so in that dimension he doesn't know how to read basically mordred traps them there as a punishment and he plans on not letting him out so it's just you know they just have to figure out a way to basically trick their way out and um that's more or less the overarching plot of the the whole series the first book um is really kind of just in a you know explaining the world and whatnot um to put it real simply this is uh if you like it's always sunny in philadelphia or like um like the league the tv shows with literally unlikable groups of people you probably dig this book because um these guys are all just the all of these guys are probably the last person you want to play D D with they are just asses they're crude mean derogatory so it's all that um it's uh getting into kind of into final thoughts kind of thing i guess is um this, de this book is definitely not for everyone. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people would give this book a try and then hate it. Uh, it's a lot of toilet humor. It's a lot of back-to-back rapid-fire toilet humor that, I'll be honest, did get a little old to me. Uh, it's a lot of derogatory terms and whatnot. These guys are kind of from the South, so I'm not going to use that as an excuse. But these are, again, these are douchebags. So, you know, they call it, they, you know use a bunch of old terms that we used to use when we were all in high school and stuff and all grew up now that it's 2020 um gosh, other things the characters are unlikable so if you're not into shows like it's always sunny and you're okay with having 
you know, they're not even anti-heroes. They're not Deadpools. You guys are just dicks. So, um, the first book is a little slow because of that. It's, uh, it gets a little old at times, but, um, it picks up very quickly. And I mean, I've torn through these books. They don't take long to read. I think I've read a couple of them in two days, so they're pretty quick to go through. Um, I suggested if, you know, you like, you know, unlikable groups of people kind of being stuck in a situation that basically that player that more or less is just the murder hobo, well, now the murder hobo is legitimately trapped in jail and being tortured, so they quickly get comeuppance, which is a little cathartic. Um, so one of the things that, uh, Robert Bevan does is he does a D6 series, which is basically short stories that are set in his Caverns and Creatures universe. Um, I've not read any of them. I've been reading just the main series right now. So, uh, it's just, if you need more little short story kind of things, I think there's about five of those books. And then he does a series of books called Shingles, which at glance looks like a, it kind of looks like a goosebumps, but for older people, like for adults kind of thing. And um, don't know about that. Horror stuff is really not my jam myself, so I don't really know much about that. But um, yeah, that's basically that's basically critical failures. This is the first little video in this series. We'll see, you know, if we'll do more. Probably will. We read a bunch. Um, so uh, totally forgot near the beginning of it. This was Intelligence Mod by Clint. You know, I'll put the Twitter down at the bottom here. So uh, check out our other videos. I know it's been a while since we put one out. Again, it's that time of year. It's kind of hard to get together. Um, so, yeah, till the next one, and support your local game store.